This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Monday means it's Modern Monday here in Instant Deck Tech Land, and we have a super spicy new M19 Influence deck to look at today. So you might remember, a few months ago, we played this Fishbowl Thursday deck called Bridgevine, which was, look at the Avengevines, Bridge from Blows in the Graveyard, play a bunch of Zero Mana stuff, and at the time, when we played that deck, it was really explosive, but it was missing something that kept it from being really competitive. We just kind of, like, did our thing, and when our thing didn't work... Our deck looked really, really bad, so we got some really fast wins, but we were lacking this consistency. Well, M19 came along and gave us a new addition, and also people have just developed the deck more, to give us this new version of Bridgevine, Zombie Bridgevine, which solves a lot of the issues we had with the initial one. So this one finished 5-0 in a competitive modern league on Magic Online in the hands of Kazokin. Although, I should point out, I don't think Kazokin is the original builder of Zombie Bridgevine because there's a bunch of finishes with the deck, a few 5-0s, uh, some Japanese tournament finishes, so it's kind of catching on. But congrats to Kazokin on a finish with a super sweet deck. A quick reminder before we break down Zombie Bridgevine for modern. If you enjoy this deck and you'll want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So, Zombie Bridgevine is built around two key cards, Vengevine and Bridge from Below. This is the Bridgevine part of the deck, and while these are our big payoffs, we don't actually want to cast either one of them. The idea is we get these cards in our graveyard, then Vengevine gives us this really hasty, powerful threat that comes back for free from our graveyard when we cast a second creature spell of a turn, so that's kind of payoff number one. Get Vengevine in our graveyard, cast a couple creatures, smash our opponent with this big hasty attacker. Bridge from Blow, on the other hand, whenever one of our creatures dies, non-token creature, if it's in our graveyard, we get a 2-2 zombie token. There is a downside, if one of our opponent's creatures dies, we gotta exile our Bridge from Below, but ideally, by that point, the damage will be done. So if we can have a bunch of stuff die, we can just make a huge board full of zombies and kill our opponent really quickly. So step one for the deck is getting as many Venge Vines and Bridge from Below's into our graveyard. So to do this, we got a few options. First off, the tried and true Faithful Suiting, the brainstorm in the modern format. One mana, draw two, discard two, flash it back for three mana. So on turn one, this just gives us a way to churn through our deck, get our Venge Vines, our Bridge from Below's in the graveyard. It's also fine if we mill it over, since we can always flash it back for three mana. So that's piece one, the big new addition to this deck. And it's not just a mill card, but it does help there, is Stitcher Supplier. So Stitcher Supplier, 1 mana 1 1, comes down, mills us for 3 when it enters the battlefield, then again when it dies it mills for 3 more. So this is not only a way to get our bridge from blows and venge vines in the graveyard, but it's a cheap creature. And this deck really wants cheap creatures for the 2 creatures in a turn to get back our venge vines. So Stitcher Supply is helping on 2 different axes. plus there's some more synergies we'll talk about in a minute with Stitcher Supplier. Also have Insolent Neonate, just another Another cheap creature that gets cards in our graveyard, triggers our Vengevine as a creature, lets us draw and discard, can even chip in from some damage thanks to Menace. Then our backup discard outlets, we have two collective brutalities, kind of just does it all. It's a way that we can cheat a little bit with our slots in our deck. You only have so many non-land slots that you can put cards in. Collective Brutality gives us, like, an okay way to discard cards, an okay way to kill something, and an okay way to duress our opponent, and an okay way to gain life against a deck like Burn. So while it's not efficient at any one of those things, the fact that it just is so many relevant things, especially in a deck like ours that wants to get stuff in the graveyard, makes it really good. And then one Grizzly Salvage, just look at the top five, we can grab a creature or a land from those cards, dump the rest in our graveyard, another way to stock the graveyard. So we dump a bunch of cards in our graveyard, hopefully as many Venge Vines and Bridge from Blows as possible, and that's where we get the payoffs and actually winning the game. So we have two different plans here. Plan one is really simple. We get a 
Bridge from Below in the Graveyard, we can cast any number of Hangerback Walkers or Walking Ballistas from our hand for zero mana, so they just die when they enter the battlefield. And for each one, we're going to get a 2-2 Zombie, and that's assuming we just have one Bridge from Below in the Graveyard. If we have, let's say, two Bridge from Belows, we're getting two 2-2 two, two Zombies for each Hangerback Walker, or three, we're getting three 2-2 two, two Zombies, so it gets really crazy really fast when you consider we can theoretically do this on turn one. On turn one, we could play a Stitcher Supplier, Faithless Suiting, mill over a copy or two of Bridge from Below, and just immediately play two or three of our zero mana dies when they enter the battlefield things to make a bunch of zombies, and that's a lot for most decks to recover from. We also have some sweet tricks, and thanks to Stitcher Supplier, we have this new kind of unique combo. So Stitcher Supplier, the other upside, beyond stocking our graveyard, beyond being a creature for our Vengevine, it's a zombie, which means Means we can play Gravecrawler now, and Gravecrawler is a card that wants to be in the graveyard, plus it gives us a way we can kind of go oddly infinite with the help of Viserys here, so if we get some bridges in our graveyard, we have out our Stitcher Supplier just to have a zombie, because you need a zombie to cast Gravecrawler from your graveyard, Viserys here lets us scry by sacking a creature, so we pay a black mana to cast our Gravecrawler, then we just sacrifice Gravecrawler, which is going to let us scry to find our important pieces if we're looking for something plus we're gonna make a zombie from our graveyard and then we got zombies from the bridge from below so there's synergies there as well so this zombie package gives us a way for each one black mana that we have we can trigger our bridge from below by sacrificing grave crawler to viserys here recasting it doing again doing again doing again so we can just kind of overrun our opponent with this really consistent zombie plan plus grave crawler fine on its own sometimes we just play a bunch of savannah lions and beat our opponent down it's also a great way to trigger our Vengevine, since one copy of Gravecrawler can be two creatures in the same turn if we can sacrifice it, so it helps there. Our other big finisher here is Goblin Bushwhacker. So Goblin Bushwhacker gives us some insanely explosive starts. Maybe on turn one, we're able to get some Bridge from Blows in the graveyard and Vengevines in our graveyard. Then we start casting those zero mana artifacts that are going to die. They're going to trigger our Vengevine when we cast the second one. They're going to make a bunch of zombies from the Bridge from Blows. Then we just kick a Goblin Bushwhacker. Suddenly, all of those zombies have haste and plus one power. So we're just hitting for this massive chunk of damage. So while it's not super likely, it's definitely theoretically possible to win on turn two with this deck. And not that hard with a reasonable hand to win on turn three with the help of Goblin Bushwhacker hasting up all of our zombie tokens. As far as the mana base, some fetch lands, some fast lands, some basic lands, a bunch of shock lands to tutor up. In the sideboard, we get a bunch of removal that also works with our graveyard plan. Dark Blast kills little things, can dredge over some cards to get it back and fill our graveyard. Lightning Axe, we can kill a big thing and also discard a Vengevine or a Bridge from Below. The third Collective Brutality, Ancient Grudge, Destructive Revelry, very important to our deck because we need access to our graveyard. So we got to make sure that we can deal with Relic of Progenitus, Tormod's Crypt, deal with Rest in Peace, Leyline of the Void, because any one of those things on the battlefield pretty much just neuters our deck. Then we're casting 1-1s one -ones and casting grave crawlers and casting venge vines although i will say that this deck is a little better than the last one because grave crawler is another threat that can actually kind of attack so while it is definitely not ideal it's possible we can just cast grave crawlers cast venge vines and win the natural way but really we want to deal with the graveyard hate and then to hate on our opponent's graveyard we have leyline in the void which doesn't hit on our graveyard also gives us a way to protect our bridge from below if you think back to bridge from below it triggers when one of our opponent's creatures dies. However, Leyline of the Void replacement effect. So instead of dying, that creature is going to go to exile. So this is a way that we basically can make sure our bridges aren't going to get exiled from our graveyard while also shutting down opponents in graveyard decks. And that is Zombie Bridge Vine for Modern. And that's our instant deck deck for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.